Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be trying out Star Wars Outlaws and Final Fantasy 16 with FSR 3 mods on my Windows PC. My PC has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now I have tested these games before. Final Fantasy 16 has received a few updates since its release. It's officially available on PC platform. In my previous video, I showed the process of installing Nukem 9 and Luke FC's FSR 3 mods in Final Fantasy 16. Nukem 9's mod still produces some graphical artifacts in this game. I don't have any fix for it. However, Luke FC's mod works perfectly fine. The final version of Final Fantasy 16 still does not support FSR 3.1. This means we cannot use DLSS or XCSS subscaler in conjunction with FSR frame generation. Now I used the preview 9 build of Luke FC's Uniscalar mod in Final Fantasy. Some people were complaining that the preview 10 build of Uniscalar mod was not working with the game. There is an easy fix for this problem. You just need to edit the TUML file. I'll show that process in this video. Unfortunately, the game's cutscenes are still capped at 30. So you need to use a mod in order to unlock the FPS in the cutscenes. It's very annoying when the FPS suddenly drops from 100 to 30 when the cutscene starts. Star Wars Outlaws also does not support FSR 3.1. FSR 3.0 upscaler makes the game look pixelated, especially when you're riding your bike at a very high speed. Instead of using Nukem 9's mod, I'll be using DLSS Enabler. It's basically a collection of multiple mods, works on any GPU, unlike Nukem 9's mod, which is limited to RTX GPUs only. Nukem 9's mod is actually a part of DLSS Enabler. It is used to enable frame generation in games. I'll kick things off with Star Wars Outlaws. We'll be using this build of DLSS Enabler version 3.02.000.0 beta 7. You can download it for free from GitHub. Just click on this exe link. You can even use Nukem 9's mod if you have an RTX based GPU. We'll be using PPF Omatic patching tool to remove the lens distortion in game effect. This will fix the ghosting issue around the character model when using Nukem 9's mod. Just download this patching tool from this website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on download. It's free. Now we need to download the PPF file corresponding to the game effect that we want to disable need to download the file from Nexus Mods website. I'll give its link in the description. You need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Just click on files, scroll down until you find SWL disable lens distortion. Click on manual download. Click on slow download. These are the three files that we just downloaded. First, I'll be installing DLSS enabler, execute its setup file need to install DLSS enabler in the games installed directory just click on I accept next next specify the games installed directory I on the Ubisoft connect version of the game click on the settings call click on properties click on installation click on the folder open folder this is the games installed directory and just click here in the directory bar copy paste it in DLSS enabler setup wizard. Next, first option check install as a version or DLL file. If your PC has an AMD or an Intel based GPU, you need to check this setting. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. As my PC has an RTX based GPU, I have disabled this setting. Only this setting should be enabled for RTX GPU owners. Next, install. Complete. Uncheck this box. Finish. Now in the games install directory where you install the mod, look for a file name nvngx.ini. There it is. Open it. Generator is set to auto by default. I will be using FSR 3.1 frame gen. So just set generator to FSR 31. I have an RTX based GPU. Set TX12 upscaler to DLSS. If you want to use XCSS Upscaler, set the Upscaler value to XCSS. Click on File, click on Save. First, I'll show you the graphical artifacts. In game settings, Full HD resolution, my display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. Set Upscaler to DLSS. Frame generation on. Apply. Upscaler mode fix quality. 
I'll just use the high preset. Chromatic abrasion disabled, very important. I have disabled film grain as well. Motion blur intensely set to nil. Cannot disable retracing settings in this game. We are in. There's a character. I'm on Moon Tushara. Standing in an open area, and you can see the ugly ghosting around the character model. See, this is the problem. FPS here is close to 90, not bad. All thanks to frame generation. Grass is looking much better now with DLSS and using FSR upscaler the grass blades look pixelated I'll show you how to fix this issue extract the contents of pdx pom3 zip file open it copy this folder go back paste open this folder now copy gfx folder file id.dis and ppf omatic 3 exe file paste them in the games install directory right here where the games exe file is present there they are now open the other zip file swl disable lens distortion copy this ppf file Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. Now just run this exe file ppfomatic3. Click on the floppy icon here next to ISO file. Navigate to the games install directory. Click on the drop down bar next to files of type. Select all files. Scroll down until you find the game's exe file. Outlaws.exe. Patch. Click on the floppy icon next to it. Now select the ppf file in the games install directory. This one SWL disable lens distortion. Double click. And just click on apply pass successfully applied ok close this window we are ready to run the game costing effect should be fixed using the same settings as before full HD resolution DLSS upscale enabled frame generation on high preset chromatic vibration disabled motion blur disabled as well we are in the escape. I'll just move the camera around. Yeah, the ghosting effect around case character model has been fixed by disabling the lens distortion game effect. Game's performance is on the lower side 80 to 90 FPS with frame generation enabled. I'm just riding my bike. Yeah, you can see FPS dropped down to around 80. I can observe a screen tearing like effect around the bottom edge of the display. Common FSR 3 frame generation related artifact. It's more noticeable on a smaller display like the one on ROG Ally, 7 inch in size. Key shadow flickers when she's riding her bike at high speeds. See? Another FSR 3 frame generation related artifact. I don't have any fix for this. Up to AMD to fix this. Now I'll be testing the next game. First I'll be installing the mod that removes the 30 FPS cap from the cutscenes in Final Fantasy 16. Just go to this website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on releases. Download the latest version. Click on the zip link under asset section. Open the zip file that you just downloaded. Copy all of the files. Paste them in the games install directory. I'll be running the games demo. Select the game in your library, right click. Manage, then click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Paste the files here. Like this. Now I'll be installing Luke FC's Unit Scaler mod. 
it's the preview 10 build you need to subscribe to luke fc's patreon in order to gain access to their discord server where the mod files are present their monthly patreon subscription costs around 6 us dollars from their discord server download the common mod file and the uniscalar.asf file i have already downloaded them first extract the content of uniscalar common.zip file open copy all of the files and folders Go back, paste them here. If you have an RTX based GPU, you don't need to use the stub NVN GX file in this folder, in this DLL file. If you have an Intel or AMD based GPU, just copy this file and paste it in the games install directory. Then run this registry file, enable signature override. RTX GPU owners can skip these steps. Just copy Uniscalar folder winmm.inm and winmm.dll files. Paste them in the games install directory. Right here. Open uniscalar.zip file. Copy the ASF file. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here need to generate the mods tml file it will be generated automatically when you run the game for the first time you will see a black window with some logs indicating that the mod is working see operation completed successfully ok the game will crash i think this is the crashing issue that most of the people were reporting it's very easy to fix it just look for the tml file in the games install directory there it is uniscalar config.tml open it as i have an rtx based gpu i'll just set the upscaler to tlss by default it is set to fsr 3.1 fsr 3 underscore 1 just select this line of text next to upscaler change it to dlss if you have a non rtx based gpu you can use either xcss or fsr 3.1 upscaler now guys here is the important part frame generator is set to fsr 3.1 by default fsr 3 underscore 1 this is why the game is crashing you just need to change frame generator from fsr 3.1 to fsr 3.0 that's the fix just remove underscore 1 frame generator should be set to fsr 3 click on file click on save if you have a non rtx based gpu just set fake nvidia gpu to true i have an rtx based gpu so i don't need to change this value it's recommended to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting if you have an rtx based gpu right click in the desktop area click on display settings click on graphics now click on change default graphics settings from here make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting is checked if your monitor supports vrr enable it also enable vsync from nvidia control panel click on program settings from the drop down bar select final fantasy 16 scroll down until you find vsync set it to on my monitor supports freesync premium gsync compatible just click on setup gsync and enable these settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen enable settings for selected display model apply close launch the game now it should not crash hopefully and there you go it worked in game settings dlss3 upscaler upscaling set to quality i'll disable frame generation for the time being vignette chromatic abrasion disabled using the high preset vrs setting disabled full screen mode full hd resolution refresh rate to 40 hertz Facing off, load the castle area here. FPS is within a range of 50 to 55. Okay, now I'll enable frame generation. Oh my god, look at that VRAM usage 60. I beg your pardon, 7600 MB. Hitting the GPU bottleneck, this game is very demanding. Frame generation on, see, worked. Moving the camera around, now our FPS is within a range of 80 to 90 can observe a slight increase in latency input delay latency is more perceivable when using a mouse instead of a gamepad i'll just explore the area on foot 
the gates. Let's hope the side entrance is still open. Go this way. This area is more crowded. Eighty to hundred FPS. I'll trigger a cutscene. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS did not drop down to thirty. Thank God, the other mod work. Not observing any ghosting around the apple. I've seen some ghosting when using the official FSR three implementation. Skip the cutscene. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. Cooking some food. I think someone's hungry. Yeah, this area is more demanding than the previous one. Nice See, FPS dropped down to round seventy. There's Joshua. Some traverses stutters are still present. Bit disappointed by this game's performance. Highly recommended to use frame generation. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.